All right, you guys, so I'm here to do an updated foundation routine. So I'm gonna use a couple products and new products that I use, so kind of be like a first impressions as well for you guys. So to start off, I already moisturized my face with my CVS brand, just Daily Facial Moisturizer. And then I use this um, Olivier contouring eye cream I've been using this for the past six months for my eye cream around my eyes now what I'm going to use is use my favorite primer and this is the Urban Decay Naked Skin Balm I'm going to take that on my fingers take this much and blend it in my skin this is an awesome primer if you have oily skin if you have any discoloration because it's just going to neutralize everything it's going to help prime the skin it's gonna give you your skin protectant it's just gonna do so much good stuff but I really love it for my oily skin I don't get oily at all throughout the day at all and I normally have my makeup on for about 12 hours a day all right as you guys can see that's done now we're gonna move into our foundation and for foundation today, I'm going to use this new foundation that I received. And this is the Lancome Nude Miracle Foundation. And I am in shade 450N. So I'm going to twist this up. And it comes with a squeeze pump. So I'm going to squeeze it. Pull it out. And I'm going to pour it on the back of my hand. One pump is enough for my whole face. I'm going to take this on a Sigma Angled Flat Top Kabuki. And this is the F84. And I'm just going to take it and stipple it in my face. And this is a liquid to powder foundation. And this is sheer coverage. So this is really meant for people who do not need a lot of coverage. Like I said in my Sephora gratis video, you are able to use this on top of your makeup. The lady, the brand ambassador, actually demonstrated this on my face. Just applying it on top of my found, um, my makeup I already had, it did not disturb my makeup whatsoever because it's like a setting powder. And it's going to dry down to a lightweight matte finish, as you can see. But look at that coverage that it gives me. That's how I realized I did not, I do not need a full coverage foundation like I've always been using. This is a lightweight sheer coverage foundation and it looks flawless on me. It's so hard doing my freaking foundation while I have my wig on. I normally never have my wig on while I'm doing my makeup. <laughs> So after that is done, I'm going to go into my under eye concealer and for concealer today, I'm going to be using my Becca concealer pen and this is the Radiant, Radiant Skin Creamy Concealer. This concealer is super thick, okay, super thick. I've been trying to figure out so many different ways to apply this. This does not work really well with blending out with a brush. I find that it works well using a wet and I mean it has to leave it a little bit more wet than you normally would but a you know a wet beauty blender sponge but yesterday I actually blended out with my fingers and that just seemed to be the best method for blending this out because this particular concealer is super thick and it's sticky too but I do like the thick consistency of it I like the coverage and the shade I am in is toffee I got because I do like that bright under eyed um, look so I'm just gonna take my index finger my middle finger and just pat this underneath my eyes and this just seemed to be like I said the more effective way to apply and blend out this particular concealer like I said it is sticky and I felt like by blending it out with my fingers it made the concealer less the consistency of it less sticky so just patting this underneath my eyes as you can see, I'm bringing it up towards my temple. And it gives that really nice, beautiful highlight. Like so. Then I'm going to just blend the concealer down my, the bridge of my nose. And blend it out on my chin. Like so. Let me just get my 
rag. Then what I like to do, I like to take a damp beauty blender and take my banana powder. I've really been enjoying using my um, banana powder on a damp beauty blender. And I'm just going to set my under eye makeup with it. And you see how it just sets everything down and it kind of tones down the brightness underneath my eyes. like so then after that is done I like to contour and my favorite contour that I have been using is this sun um, the sun kissed trio from city colors and I love using this bronzer in the middle right here so I'm going to take my real technique contouring brush right here and I'm gonna start sculpting my face Just like that. And you see how already just by, you know, contouring my face, it just gives really nice dimension. And then I'm going to take the same contour and brush, I'm going to pinch it and drag it along the sides of my nose. Like so. Then just take my fingers and just lighten that up a bit. You don't need your nose contour being so strong. Then now what I'm going to do, I'm going to take my Sigma F40 blush brush. And I'm going to go into this Sunlight Trio from City Colors. And I love using this bronzer and this highlight in it. Um, I like using the bronzer for an actual cheek blush, a natural cheek blush. So I'm going to take that first. This is just going to give me my everyday nice sun-kissed cheeks. If you don't have the City Colors one and you have something from MAC, Worldly Worth is very similar to this bronzer. And then I'm going to take the highlight and apply that to my cheekbone. Everybody's all into highlighting nowadays, so this is a really big deal for a lot of girls. And me being a woman of color, I like using nice um, gold highlights rather than the shimmery champagne ones that look almost white and ashy on my face. And voila, you guys, that is my face routine. Then what I would do is take my Makeup Forever Fist and Mix, um, Mist and Fix. Mist my face. I'm going to take this pin out my hair because my bang was going to be in the way. 
like so. Then for lips today, what do I want to do for lips today? I got to put something on these lips. What I'm going to do, I'm just going to take my MAC Magenta Lip Liner, fill in my lips. like so and then I'm going to go into this Maybelline color sensational lip gloss and this is number 06 electric shock and apply this on top just for some added shine and there you guys have it let me zoom out a little bit This is my updated flawless foundation routine. I highly, 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 when I first watched it in um, at my job at Sephora, because I'm actually on my way to work, I thought this stuff was horrible, just blending it out on my hand. I could not figure this bad boy out. But now using it actually on my face, this stuff is excellent. Absolutely love it. I highly, highly, highly recommend this foundation for people who have oily skin. I don't recommend it for people who have dry skin or more aged skin. It will work a little bit but if you really do have a lot of wrinkles on your face this is just going to accentuate that. Um, this is really made for more um, you know youthful skin. So yeah absolutely love it. So like I said if you don't need a lot of coverage you just want a nice smooth even canvas yes honey you need to check this out this gonna be my new favorite foundation anytime I work at Sephora and I do CMAs um, on my clients at Sephora I always like to use either I always like I love using any I'm so like a creature of habit I love using NARS products I use the makeup forever HD even though I don't like it on myself um, I like using the Dior products and I like using oh what's that brand I like using like Tarte and Smashbox I never really venture off into Lancome unless I'm working with more deeper women of color because they do have a lot of color ranges for darker women of color um, I'll go to Lancome but now honey yes this is going to be my go-to and everybody always asks me like what foundation are you wearing and I'm always wearing like a drugstore brand at work so I'm always like lying but now honey oh yeah this is going to be my favorite absolutely love 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 this particular foundation this video end up turning into a mother freaking review for this stuff awesome absolutely love it and then compared with my urban decay naked skin balm mwah, love it yes honey highly recommend you guys get your hands on it but i hope you enjoyed this video as always remember to always rate comment subscribe follow me on twitter twitter.com backslash missile so fabulous tv facebook facebook.com backslash missile so fabulous and remember you guys have a nice and wonderful day bye